Hello guys, how are you doing today? It's Matiz here, so today I just wanna make a, like a quick tier list, okay? Basically this is just an excuse for me to talk about rogues and casters in phase 2. In my opinion, I think most casters will be almost unplayable in phase 2. Why? Because they have cloth armor, they're gonna get one or two shotted by rogues alone. People have no idea how broken a rogue is gonna be in phase 2. They have preparation, they have like seven different kinds of crowd control and they now with the new runes they even got teleport and they got 50% slow. So if you don't have some form of a slow removal you have no chance against rogues, that's for sure. Maybe if you roll a troll shadow priest, right? Troll shadow priest have these special racials, uh, they have like... Um, uh, shaman lightning shield around them, you know, it's a specific troll priest ratio they get and the thing is that when you get hit uh, you have like 15% uh, chance to stun your opponent uh, from talents, okay, so let me show you go classic talents <coughs> you see they have blackout, okay so it's a 10% chance you stun anybody that hits you, okay? So, uh, Priest, Ratzials, Vogue, well, Classic. So let's uh, find trolls, okay? They have Shadow Guard, okay? So you surround yourself with shadows when you get, by, uh, when you get hit by melee or range attack your attack will be struck for shadow damage, okay? And this can proc 10% on blackout and you have like 3-4 charges. So, this is why uh, Shadow Priest might be very good. But at the end of the day we have no, we have no um, Vampiric Touch. So we only have like 2-3 dots, which is kinda lame. Um, even though now Priest got, uh, you know, uh, Penance and they got uh, all these new uh, good abilities, so Priest is gonna be very good, but at the same time, it's gonna be free for all, and you have no mobility, okay? So maybe in a group situation, or maybe if you roll a Troll Shadow Priest, uh, maybe then you have a chance, but otherwise, I don't know. Warriors might be very good, or, you know, they still lack mobility, they, they I mean, they have mobility, but they have no counter against slows. Right? Slow is one of the strongest crowd control in this game, like in any uh, multiplayer online battle arena or MMORPG game. So maybe if you roll a warrior gnome, then maybe you have chances, otherwise it's gonna be very hard. Maybe tower and you get more HP, you get Warstone, which is actually really fun. I think Hunter Hunter is gonna be probably S tier in phase 2. I already made videos about Hunters, but the thing is they have incredibly high dodge and parry chance. They, they get insane amount of stats for free from Aspect of the Lion and from Survival Tree. They get like 30% bonus agility and 20% bonus HP for free. So probably Hunter is gonna be the best scaling class in Phase 2. I mean, Warlocks are pretty boring. Like, Warlocks need more fun abilities. They need more... Um, tell me, how is Warlock gonna survive? Uh, a rogue, they have five different uh, forms of crowd control. Yes, the fail guard and fail link is gonna make you tanky, but bro, you're still a cloth user. So, since rogues is gonna be and hunters is gonna be probably very popular in phase two, I assume that any class that has at least male armor is gonna be very good. Uh, so, paladins, uh, shamans, uh, even druid actually get male, does don't they? Do the druids get male? I think they do actually, at 40. So any class that have male is gonna be pretty valid, because rogue is gonna be meta, hunter is gonna be meta. Mage might be actually really fun, okay? Because mage now can, can now blink in, blink out, it's gonna be very fun playstyle. But at the end of the day, <coughs> if you don't play frost pack, you basically have zero survivability. So how is mage gonna survive against rogue? No chances. Even if you go Frost, okay, you have Freeze Nova, you have Blink, and then what? I mean, you have Ice Block and maybe Ice Shield, right? But that's go not gonna be enough. I think uh, Rogues in PvP is just gonna be overturned. And now, if you check some of the new runes, they even added more damage. They added 50% slow leeway. They added Teleport for free, right? And on top of that, on top of that, they are actually removing Stamina from Cloth Gear. 
So now all rogues and uh, warriors and hunters can gonna be one shot you in PvP. That's gonna be I I don't know man. Also there is a huge concern about mage how mage class is literally designed for gold buyers and real world trading and then on top of that they also use uh, they use AI add-ons which automatically outbeat anybody on the auction house. So yeah, that's gonna be balanced. Uh, this uh, the damage has already been done. It's uh, you know people are always saying wow, all they do they they forbid GDKP. They care so much about gold buying a bot problem. But if you guys think forbidding GDKP is gonna fix the bot issue, the gold buying issue, you are highly mistaken. Okay. When the, when your class is literally designed for gold farmer, farmers, you know where we at, you know. Also, Blizzard literally stole rune idea from private servers. From private servers, they actually destroyed. It's very hard to respect Blizzard. I mean, yeah, they're doing a lot of work, uh, but at the same time, they're just rehashing 20-year-old content. Okay, I don't want to get into that, but... Shaman, I think, is going to be very fun. They have Mel. They have Wind Fury, they're gonna be good against physical classes. But at the same time, uh, there is one thing, melee hunt, uh, shaman is not good, okay? Because they lack uh, more spells, more buttons to press. On top of that, if you wanna have Wind Fury, you're gonna lose a lot of stats from Rogue Biter. So, it's one of those things that when you get deep down into those classes and talents, you realize it could be so much more, especially when they add one talent point to all classes right and we could also talk about tanks how underwhelming most tanks are currently you know the druid bear swipe does no damage if you miss it you are pre practically screwed warrior thunderclap costs way too much rage you know doesn't do enough how 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 is a uh, uh, sorry excuse my health i have problems with breathing so but how uh, how is a uh, mage or rogue uh, is better tank than uh, warrior or druid M makes no sense to me i mean shamans have very good aggro but they don't really do much more you know they are support class uh elemental shaman is gonna be very interesting i think healers are gonna be also very strong i remember playing um Vogue classic my druid i didn't even have had a healing spec i didn't had good weapons and i still out healed everybody in the raid and i was literally just using like two three buttons regrowth can re rejuvenate which is actually insane for tanks and you have actually you have um thorns which is actually really huge for tanks uh people underestimate the power of thorns it's they're huge for tanking especially uh for you know any any tank right now you know because we really we really lack pressure we really lack aov uh threat um Especially if you go warrior and you put a uh, tornus on a shield, you know, <laughs> that's fun. I wonder how Pali is gonna be. They have some strong abilities, but man, I still feel like they're missing a lot, you know. I really hope now is the best time to actually fix some of the outdated runes. Some of you see, uh, there is also this issue that a lot of the runes that are necessary necessary can't really be put together. Maybe they will fix this issue, but I feel like runes also limit a lot of the things not just make it possible but also limit the class design and such so yeah we'll see i think hunter is gonna be melee hunter was already so good and now they made it insane N we, hunter with the new melee run runes is probably even better than warrior right you have it's if you if you play melee hunter and you play warrior their kits are actually very similar you know raptor strike is like a heroic strike then you have prox, you know, you have um, quick strike and that's the same as Mungus bite. It's very similar. The thing is the more dodge hunter have and the more parry they have, the stronger they become. And these are actually best stats against rogues. You know, because the more they dodge, the more Mungus bite can they use and the more they parry, the more counter attacks they can use. So I think hunter is going to be the best scaling class in late game for sure. Mage is going to be very fun. I really want to roll a mage soon. Right now I have a hunter and a warrior. I wonder how is I really wish they would add like blade storm or shockwave. Shockwave would be so good for a protection warrior, you know. 
Without Shockwave, Protection Warrior doesn't really feel fun to play. You have no really big buttons. Everybody out threats you. Shamans, mages, it's stupid. You know, I know I was under level in the last <laughs> under level in the last dungeon, but man, guys, we actually got a new rune that when you dodge or parry, you actually get bonus HP on a priest. Now imagine this with the Lung Grace, when you get 10% dodge for free. You know. Or star shards, uh, you know, in phase 2, priest and warlock abilities might, uh, uh, dots, uh, damage over time abilities might actually be able to crit, so, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Ha 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 